Hey everybody, this is Juanito. Um, there has been a lot of um, questions about a module that I've you've done made a lot of uh, examples of. This here is a uh, one example. My favorite reverb is the is where you can look it up on and find my specific schematic in places where you can find stuff like that on Facebook or whatever. But um, this is a demonstration of that specific schematic, which uh, works really, really well. It features both um, wet and dry. So you can, this is, per this is all the way dry, turns to wet right there. The wet dry fader is before the reverb module itself. So you can, um, bring in a bit of reverb and it'll just fade out it has tails basically this is the output right here these it's a stereo uh, effect module so it has stereo out this is the volume for it this is the clock you can hear when we turn it all the way down or right about here it starts to get noisy and that clock can be controlled by a control voltage and this is an attenu attenuator on the control voltage so let me bring in some sound where is some sound oh here we go this is I'll plug it into a mixer <laughs> it's kind of an overdriven uh, saw wave filtered with a diode ladder filter and the filter that's built into the VCO Love that. So, um, as you can hear, this has some super decent, um, super decent, uh, algorithms. Um, one through nine, or, uh, I guess zero through nine, or basic, uh, reverb. Sounds like a hall reverb. And they go longer. Nine is the maximum length. It's pretty decent. We can make it longer by reducing the clock rate of the mo of the module. 
not quite Halls of Valhalla from Tip Top, but pretty good. Especially for fourteen dollars. Ten goes ten goes into Sounds a little spring like I guess. Gated reverb. Good for snares and stuff. Like a reverse reverb. I did this with voice one time. It was really, really good. I'll plug in my voice. This is reverse reverb and it's actually pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. Okay, um, I think I've showed you most everything you might be interested in besides the clock speed mod. Um, the clock speed mod makes things higher or lower. Um, I'll just use a non-modulated sound, a tone, a steady tone. Right now it's just really low. That snap you hear is the processor on this thing crashing because it's trying to be uh, clocked too fast.
And of course, my own version has two inputs, which can also be modulated at the same time. Hey, uh, that's a pretty fun. I love, it's my favorite reverb. It is my favorite reverb. Uh, follow the link in the description and you'll get the schematic and stuff like that. Yes, indeed, this uses a PT2399 reverb or a delayed chip just for its clock. And as you can hear, it works reasonably well, even though there's noise. I don't care. Noise is sweet. Um, thanks for watching. You should build one. <laughs>